This is Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. Uh, I'm reporting, I want to put this out because the media is absolutely silent on this. There's no been no reporting either from the Indian or the Pakistani or the world media. It just seems to be complete silence. Um, so I want to bring this article uh, that's been written by Hal Turner. I realize many people do not think that he is a, a credible uh, source, but in this case, um, everything that he says has been confirmed uh, by the Twitter feed, uh, by tweets from both Pakistan and India. So he has written an article uh, entitled India opens suddenly artillery attack on Pakistan, ferocious fighting ongoing, 10 dead so far. So I shall just read a little bit from this. Uh, this is going back uh, probably about six hours or something. The breaking news, 2, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Pakistan, India sorry, has begun a massive artillery attack on Pakistan with 155mm artillery raining down on Pakistan along the line of control, LOC. Ferocious fighting is taking place, spreading and getting worse. At least 10 people are dead so far, reported to be at least 5 Pakistani soldiers and five other civilians. Houses are also reportedly being demolished as artillery shells rain down. There are also reports that India is allegedly firing missiles and that Pakistan is firing missile interceptors. So he's provided some video which uh, uh, he says proves the Pakistani claims of firing missile interceptors. And then his uh, ongoing um, updates. He said 2.07. Uh, seven civilians killed, more than 25 injured. Seven houses destroyed and cross LOC shelling by Indian Army. Shelling reported from Punch, Kotli, Tatapani and Nelom sectors. 2.10. Every sector of Azad Kashmir is being shelled by India artillery. As clashes at LOC continue, a feeling of remorse is set, setting in within Pakistani circles. Many people in media, military, intelligence, diplomatic and political circles are feeling that Pakistan has given too much of a concession to India by returning the captured India fighter pilot shot down earlier this week in return for nothing. So that's confirmed actually by a um, a tweet uh, coming out of Pakistan that I will um, that I will show later. But anyway, I shall go on. Two fourteen. India using short range missile in Nakyal and Samani sector. Three civilian casualties in Nakyal so far. Two forty eight. So many wounded that hospitals in northern Pakistan now facing shortage of blood. People around the area are requested to donate blood to nearest hospital in Kotli. Urgent need. 321. According to locals, India fired short-range missiles on civilians at Kotli, Azad, Kashmir. Pakistan army destroyed two missiles in air and one hit civilians. 30 civilians so far killed, hundreds injured. This is getting pretty bad. 3.33. A former IC, I'm not sure what that means, colleague of mine, who I know personally has talked to multiple Pakistani soldiers, currently posted at the LOC and to many other people who have talked to their friends at LOC. There are very severe clashes going on between India and Pakistan right now. And he's saying it may continue all night. That's America. Uh likely to get far worse. 410. My contacts just told me that India is using two 14mm Pinaka multi-barrel rocket launcher 
MBRL. This is very heavy firepower, definitely far heavier than the usual artillery duels. Um, and then he's provided a picture which I haven't got to put up, uh, it may come up later. According to locals, India fired short-range missiles on civilians at Kotli, Azad, Kashmir. Pakistan army destroyed two missiles in air and one hit civilians. 30 civilians killed so far. Hundreds are injured. 333, former... Oh, sorry, yeah, no, I've got things... I've repeated myself, sorry. My contacts just told me that India is using two 14mm Pinaka multi-barrel rocket launcher, MBRL. This is very heavy firepower, definitely far heavier than the usual artillery duels. And then he refers to this uh, uh, diagram I've got up at the moment. He said... Both India and Pakistan have what is called an escalation ladder on how they will theoretically respond to hostilities between the two countries. And the chart below shows each side's steps. So I shall go on. Um... 448, Pakistani snipers have reportedly killed multiple Indian forces at the line of control. Numerous civilian casualties on the Pakistan side. 5.02 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now confirmed, Pakistan army retaliating to Indian army fire with 203mm M115 artillery shells. 5.30 confirmed at least seven Indian soldiers killed by Pakistan army. And then his final report is at six o'clock Eastern Standard Time. All Pakistani hospitals have declared an urgent need for blood. The situation is getting worse from hour to hour. Hundreds of civilians are wounded and bleeding badly. Thousands more are fleeing. So this does not sound, folks, like your normal skirmishes that happen from time to time between India and Pakistan. I'm sorry, this seems like a major escalation. And uh, the final word from um, Hal Turner is mass media silent. Well, boy, I can, um, I can confirm that because I have not been able to find anything in mass media anywhere in the world. Um, to um, to confirm this, but lots on the um, on Twitter. So here we are. This is F. Jeffrey, who is he operates out of Pakistan. So he's giving the Pakistani side, and this is what I um, uh, Hal Turner was saying before. As clashes at LOC continue, a feeling of remorse is setting in within Pakistani circles. Many people in media, military, intelligence, diplomatic and political circles, a feeling that Pakistan has given too much of a concession to India in return for nothing by releasing a pilot. So I'll just go through a few of these tweets. Breaking. Reports of India utilising 155mm heavy artillery on Pakistan over LOC within minutes of Indian pilot release. Seven reported dead. So this is from much earlier on in the day. The use of 155s is usually relegated to war as these weapons are devastating. It truly appears Modi wants war. So there we are. And then uh, this is from the same source, War Intel. I have bad feelings about India and Pakistan. India is provoked by Pakistan all the way down. This could escalate into something we don't want. And uh, 
Then this shows, this is also from F. Jeffrey in Pakistan. This Pakistani notification calls on citizens not to start their generators or UPS uninterrupted power supply if there is a blackout. Considering the India-Pakistan tensions, it is dated the 1st of March. And also from F. Jeffrey, according to last updates, clashes have been ongoing almost the entire night and into the morning with only brief pauses. Kotli has been hottest. Won't be surprised if they continue the entire day today. As both countries wake up, we will get latest brief soon. Logging off for now. Um, and then the other one which I wanted to bring up was this. Um, so someone has asked, why isn't the Pakistani media reporting the bloodbath in AJK along the LOC right now? Kashmir, yeah, well, it's all in, um, in Urdu. They're lionizing our blood when it suits you and blacking out when it doesn't serve your agenda. And then F. Jeffries come back and said there's a, currently a lot of anger amongst people in Pakistan administered Kashmir about Pakistani media's almost total blackout of what's happening at LOC. They are on the front line facing Indian shelling while Pakistani media shows entertainment shows. People feel betrayed. Well, doesn't that sound very familiar? Um, and... Uh, I'm sure some of us around the world would also like to know what's happening, but I cannot find anything uh, now um, that would confirm this, not from BBC, not from CNN, not from, not from anywhere. So we'll wait and see if there's a little bit more light on this um, uh, tomorrow. But in the meantime, this is uh, Seymour Rocks reporting from down under with extremely uh, concerning um, news coming out of out of um, Pakistani controlled Kashmir.